¡Qué horror! ¡LP es en la house! Especialmente para todos ustedes, váyanse a Facebook Live, a Instagram Live, porque estamos con LP is in the house. LP is in the house. How is everybody doing today? Coolest chick in town. No, We're doing like... No, no, no. Oh, 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 Can we do a contest and you can tell us who did it better? Yeah. Por favor. Sure, bueno, no, no, no. let me introduce you properly, as you deserve, darling. Okay. Es conocida como LP, es una super cantante, compositora eh, de Estados Unidos. Eh, el sencillo más famoso es con lo que abrimos, que se llama Lost in You. Imagínense ustedes que ha tenido más de 350 millones de vistas en YouTube. Y la gran gracia de esta mujer, independientemente de que es una gran compositora, que ha escrito, por ejemplo, Cheers de Rihanna, este, eh, ha escrito para Cristina Aguilera, pero The Backstreet Boys, pero Rita Ora, pero Leona Lewis, este, pero Cher. No, oh, bueno. Es una voz tan única y tan especial. Eh, su mejor compañero y amigo es el ukulele. Y tenemos el honor de que esté en México por séptima vez, porque seguramente ustedes la han visto en el Corona Capital, en el la han visto Plaza en Condesa. el Vive Latino, en el Plaza Condesa. Y ahora va a estar esta noche eh, a los premios Telehit, hoy miércoles 13 de noviembre, en el Foro Sol a las 7 de la noche. ¿Did you understand anything I said? I heard Christina Aguilera and Leona Lewis. Rihanna. And Cher, Rihanna. We're so happy to have you here. Me too. Thank you so Because much. Because you mean so much, I mean, musically, Yesterday uh, that I was looking at your videos, your voice never ceases to amaze me. Oh, and, I, and what I was asking myself is, you have a very unique way of singing mm -hmm. that is so not mainstream in many ways. <laughs> yeah. And at what age did you say, I got it going on? Uh, I don't think I ever said that. I still don't say that. I'm just like... You uh, still don't think you got it going <laughs> on? Well, let me tell you, honey, you got it going on. I just, you know, I, I feel like um, I try to... Uh, express myself. I feel like I, the reason why I kept going, I think, is because I, I felt a reaction from people from it, you know, like fr from early on, even when I sang when I was like, you know, 10, 11, 12, but there was no, I didn't, I wasn't in that direction in my life, you know, my parents, my, my life was not like, be a singer, that was just something I was good at, you know, I thought I was good at, and Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't something I, I thought I'd pursue, but I remember like you know feeling like it it became something that I felt. Wait a second, why can't I do this? It feels like this is my most my favorite thing to do, and I feel like this is the thing that I'm I'm at my best spiritually when I do it. You know, it's like you know when you're like you like that that side of yourself mm -hmm. that's like that when you're doing a certain thing, and so I, I, when I kind of realized that, I decided to go for it. It's going to want to cry with what you just said. Mm -hmm. Because 97.7% of people in the world are doing something that they don't like. Yeah. And we always say that what you like the most is probably what you'll be best at yeah, and, and more should, successful. And it's, and it's usually scary, a scary thing. And, you know, and that's why the people that are doing what they want, you'll notice they can't shut up about it. Yeah. They're like, ah, that's just great. You know, and even if it comes down to not even a talent, just even like, something that's like for the world, a charity, something like that, you know, something that just brings them, and again, it's like, I think it's when you, when you see like a thing that like brings out the best side in yourself, whether, whatever it is, I think you should always try to run to it. Let me translate that in a very short summary to Spanish. <laughs> Pero le digo que tiene una forma bien peculiar de cantar y que, que increíble haber descubierto que ese es tu fuerte a pesar de que eres tan diferente al, al clásico tipo de cantante. Y me dice que es increíble, pero su vida y su familia no tenía nada que ver con el mundo de la música y que ella empezó a darse cuenta que, que, que era buena para esto, no solo por la retroalimentación que tenía de la gente, sino por cómo se sentía en el alma. Y que al final le decía yo que me duele, o sea, me, me llega mucho lo que dice porque estás en tu mejor momento cuando espiritualmente te va y te sientes bien con lo que estás haciendo y así es como ella se dio cuenta que a eso se tenía que dedicar por cómo se sentía de bien haciendo lo que hacía y que la gente que se dedica a lo que más le gusta te das cuenta porque es gente que no se puede quedar callada y que todo el día está hablando de su tema no importa si es cantar o si es dedicarse a un eje cuando algo te apasiona no 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 puedes parar I don't know if this is if this is fair to you if this is right to say but since we are a very LGBTQ I love to say those words uh, inclusive program I think that you're such a great flag 
for, I don't want to say it, but I'll say it, but I, I am afraid you won't get mad. But for like, <laughs> Thanks a lot. the gay voice, the gay voice in music. <laughs> uh, well, you know, my, my thing is, I really, I want, I, I hope that as soon as possible, those walls are not even necessary, like to say that, because I literally barely think about being gay every day. I just am myself, you know, like, and not... I, I just, I, I don't identify um, solely as that, you know, obviously. I think, you know, and, and I think a lot of people that are, are like, brand, not branching out, but becoming more and more, it's like we're just infusing into, you know, society in a way that it's unnecessary to, um, to separate it. But, but, you know, I'll take it. I, I hope that um, people can just be at some point and just you know I'm just trying to be like that person's friend who happens to be gay that it doesn't even they don't it doesn't register anymore it's just like that's and, and it makes it you know you're, everything moves at a very slow pace sometimes it's like we need we need the radicals and the activists to like really show us what's up and then but then we need you know the society at large to just keep being who they are and not backing down to like you know make it more um, just normalize it. I hate to use that word. Yeah, no, like, but I, yesterday I was I was watching an interview of yours and, and I loved what you said about just being and being proud of who you are, whoever you are, yeah. no matter your sexual preference. We're not trying to make anybody like force feed it down anybody's throat, like where it's like, you have to bring it to guy people. But it is very <laughs> inspiring when you see somebody who has that level of influence mm -hmm. that can be so comfortable with whatever they are that I think that that is why you have such an amazing following mm -hmm. for many other reasons mm -hmm. that maybe do doesn't have to do necessarily only with your music and I think that's that's oh, amazing that's and that's amazing for a lot of people in the audience that are still trying to discover <laughs> who they are yeah and trying to feel comfortable with whoever they are no matter how different you are from the rest you think about all the all the like good energy that you know exactly what we we're just talking about that comes out of someone who's being who they are and, and doing what they love and it's it's so like it's it, you can really see it when you see someone that's excited about their life and then and and you know also on that negative when they're not and they just like pull everything down you know and and i just you know i'm always wishing for those people to be able to turn it around you know i mean we've got so much uh, so we need the people that do recognize what they want to do to like really, really go hard because you know we're trying to like even out the energy and, and trying to bring you know lift people up. You know, and I mean I think that's what art is all about. Anyway, you know I don't want to like over uh, overextend my influence or any like anything that I have is is you know a drop in the bucket compared to what we need. But I think you know every little bit helps to like um, you know especially artistically. You know, we always have to, we have to support art and support um, people who are trying to do these things so that, so we keep this balance in the world, you know, and, and people are always like forgetting about how important art is, I think, sometimes, and that's like something that we like latch onto, like a, a song can change your life, you know. Absolutely. Absolutely. Also, I have no idea where, how am I going to translate Jose, pero le decía yo que al final, pues ella sí es como... Un, un estandarte para la comunidad LGBTIQ musicalmente hablando eh, por la apertura, por las canciones, eh, por, por, por cómo ella se muestra en el escenario siendo quien es. Este, y que al final dice ella que aunque esto es una gotita lo que ella puede aportar en el mundo de necesidades que existe en todos lados de, de aceptarnos y celebrarnos y no necesariamente definirnos, pero sí aceptar y sentirte cómodo con la persona que eres, no importando quién seas. Y que al final, lo que tenemos que hacer, y eso es parte de lo que hace el arte, y eso es el poder transformativo que tiene una canción, que inspiremos a los demás a sentirse contentos y a convertirse y encontrar la persona que son, no importando cómo sea. Y eso es, eso es increíble. We obviously brought a ukulele, cuenta bien. You, you, you could have chosen a flute, a saxophone, an accordion, which is less cool, an organ, but it was an ukulele LP. Yeah, uh, 
the cutest instrument ever. I know. You know why? Why? I don't, I don't know if you heard the story, but it really came when I didn't think I was going to be um, an actual singer again. I thought I was just <laughs> going to write songs for other people, and I started. Uh, I'd always wanted one when I was like doing the artist thing, but uh, I just never got around to getting one. And then I got one because it's just like. This one's actually bigger than the one I have, but it's like a, it's a subtle instrument where you could just be like, kind of bring it in, hold it in your hand, bring it into a session, write a song, and just be like, yeah. <laughs> and it just like felt like a little bit more low key and fun. And, uh, and you know, one of the things that I experienced in my career, like it, whenever you make a passion, your work, as I'm sure you see, it, it still, it becomes a job and then you have to be careful not to let it like- Consume yourself. Yeah, yeah. not to let it like, you know, uh, make, delete the passion that went behind it, the reason why you love doing it, you know, it's still, it's still a job, it's still going to have things yeah. to do, but, you know, when I got signed many times and then it didn't work out, it felt uh, like very, like, uh, heavy, you know, like I, and, but it always started with me having fun, you know, writing songs, like, um, and then people would always get excited again, because I'd, like, recover from this negative experience and then start, like, you know, writing songs again, because I'm <coughs> basically a positive person, you know, I'm very moody, but, um, you know, but I then, you know, but I took started playing this instrument, and then it just became fun again, and everybody started like being like, "Why are you having so much fun?" And I was writing all these songs, and uh, then it brought my artist career back again. So I attribute like ah. my artist career coming back to this. Ah, uh, y siempre dice que Luculele <laughs> es la que la trajo de regreso. Es que la firmó eh, varias varias este disqueras desde Jeff Jam hasta varias más, y se salía y la soltaban y iba y venía, y fueron momentos bien difíciles. Y lo que siempre la traía de regreso es acordarse de la pasión y la ilusión de hacer lo que hace. Shoot, girl. Uh, what am I playing? <coughs> what do you want to play? I don't know. What do you got? We can do the... <coughs> We can do the... <coughs> ¿No? A ver. I don't have my cable. <laughs> Skip ahead to like, uh, <laughs> so smoke them if you got them, cause it's going down. All I ever wanted was you. I'll never get to heaven, cause I don't know how. Let's raise our glass up to, to all the things I've lost on you. Oh, <laughs> Miércoles 13 de noviembre, Foro Sol a las 7 de la noche. Este, van a premiar a lo mejor de la música. Tengo dos discos autografiados, Heart to Mouth, de mi queridísima LP. Wow, los por y Instagram. los vamos a regalar uno por Instagram y uno por Facebook. So you need to ask a question. What do I do? So ask a question, because we're giving away these two albums, signed oh. by you. Okay. And so this needs to go to a great, great fan. Okay. So ask a really tough question. Oh, gosh. Um, mm, let's see. What? I see. When I was a child. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, uh -huh. What is the name? What is the middle name of my dog? Ah! Oh, 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 Fido, ¿Cuál Fido. es el segundo nombre Blackie, de su Blackie. perro? Blackie. Así, Fido, Fido, Blackie, Fido. Blackie, uh, Wendy, Blackie. Wendy, Wendy. 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 <laughs> Peter, Clarice. Peter, Clarice. Peter, Clarice. Peter. <laughs> Ok, Bien. el primero que conteste eso en mi Instagram, ahorita voy a subir el post del disco autografiado por LP, y el primero que conteste en Facebook, les vamos a regalar este álbum firmado es. por ella de Heart to Mouth. LP, give me a five. <laughs> 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 Thank you so much for being Bravo. on the show. Adiós. Adiós. Bye.